Hey guys, take a minute the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if mail is not showing up in your inbox. You might have a couple mails and you might notice that the mail isn't coming up anymore on the latest iOS version. What can you do to fix it? We're going to show you just about everything that you need to go through from some of the low level troubleshooting to some of the advanced one to finally fix your problem. So let's get started. So first thing is if you're having this issue, I'd like to just go ahead and put my phone on airplane mode for a brief moment and turn it back off just like that. And does a quick network refresh. So if there's a setting issue with your iPhone, it should fix that connectivity issue. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to check out on your iPhone is if you have this filter on, right? This filter again, is great but then again it could also cause some issue with your iPhone so what you want to do is turn this on and off and what that does is if you put it on it's on red but if you unselect it it's on red so this will allow you to go ahead and adjust the setting accordingly based on if you have it on and off sometimes it won't show you the unread and the red messages so take a look at that now after you have done that the next thing you want to do in your uh, setting of your iPhone is go ahead and close out the mail app and just relaunch it again and that will do a quick refresh to make sure your mail are coming up. Now after you have done that you want to go ahead and do a force restart on your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down and finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo at that time you let go of that button. So do volume up, volume down. Then I hold this side button just like this. As you can see here, I'm going to keep on holding it, not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. So we're going to wait till the phone completely shuts down just like that. And once I see the Apple logo reappear, I let go of that button. That's known as a force restart, which reloads the software of the phone. If they're having any issues with the software of your phone, it will resolve that issue for you. Now, after it turns on, now this method will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. You're good to go. The next thing you want to do and to troubleshoot is go back into your setting of your iPhone. And then this time, go to the mail setting. In the mail setting, you want to ensure that your cellular data is turned on. And for you, it might also say mobile data, depending on your region, but make sure this is turned on. That's important because sometimes if that gets turned off, you will not get mail on your cellular or mobile data. Now, after you have done that, you want to also check out a couple other things here, is you want to play around with this organized by thread. Go ahead and turn it off and see if you get the mail and then turn it back on as well. Sometimes the way the mails are sorted, if a certain user send it to you, they might organize it, you may not see the mail that you're looking for so turn this on and off and see what that happens also another setting to check out in your messages under privacy protection now this should be turned off but we notice some users it accidentally gets turned on with the software update or you might have turned it on accidentally you want to keep this off and see if you show the message what mail privacy does is tries to hide your IP address and remote content loading in the background which sometimes can prevent messages from not coming through so make sure this is turned off for you to be able to get your email in your inbox now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is under accounts here you'll notice that if you're using the mail app for multiple accounts all the accounts should show up here i'm using an icloud one and a gmail one and you might have multiple ones like outlook maybe yahoo uh, Gmail, Hotmail, whatever the case is, but you want to ensure that they're listed here for all of your accounts. If it's not, you need to go ahead and re-add it again. Now, one thing to do is, if you do have one, right, go click on through each one, and if the one says re-enter password, you need to re-enter your password, especially if you have recently changed a password for a mail account. So what happens is sometimes you reset your password on your computer or another phone or another device it also needs to be updated here or else the mail will not come through because you have an old password and it cannot fetch the new data also the other thing you can do is go ahead and delete the account right remove it and then after you removed it you'll go ahead and add that account back to the device and that may help now that will not delete your email it's just removing the account and then re adding it back to your iPhone now after you have done that the other thing to check out is you're going to turn this off mail and then turn it on but for the most part if you want to mail from my account you need to ensure that is turned on again for some reason if you have turned it off mail will not load up or show up in your mail app now after 
you have done that it's time to move on to the next thing to do in terms of in your setting of your iPhone here this is if you are using screen time you may not be using screen time but some people that use screen time under content and privacy restriction if you have this on you want to check that under allowed app mail is turned on if for some reason this is not allowed grayed out the mail app will not show up and you will not be able to see any mail so make sure that is turned on under allowed apps and that is if you're using screen time if you're not that's great you can move on to the next troubleshooting step which again sounds a little weird but we're going to go ahead and press and delete the app and reinstall the mail app by clicking on remove click on remove and then you go back to the app store and then you'll want to search up the mail app again and reinstall it and again it will not delete your mails all you're doing is reinstalling the mail app like that again you'll install it again and this is if you or if there's a s update to the mail app on the recent version that your mail app needs to be updated you'll need to do that now after you have done that and you're still having issue the next thing you want to do is uh, go ahead and to your iPhone now this time you're gonna go to your setting of your iPhone go to general and go all the way down to transfer reset iPhone click on reset and you'll do a network reset and the reason why you want to do a network reset is that again if you're having any issues with the connectivity of your device it will reset all of your network setting things like saved Wi-Fi any Bluetooth connected devices you'll just have to need to reconnect to it remember resetting it will reset the password your Wi-Fi so make sure you reconnect again to your Wi-Fi it should take about a minute or two but it's an important step to trouble shooting the mail app not working now after you have done that and still not working it's time to go ahead and uh, check out if Apple servers are working like it should so Apple has mail servers and we need to ensure that the mail server system is working in order to do that we do is Apple search up on Google Apple system status and if you do that it will take you to Apple's all the issues that are going on and all the services Apple is currently running now as you can see there's two outages, outage, outages that happened today with the Apple Pay and Wallet around this this time that Apple has fixed now let's say these outage are mail which if you click on here you should see under iCloud and mail you want to ensure that it says available for some reason it says not available or there's an outage you'll have to wait till Apple fixes that on their server generally they'll fix it within a few hours at most a few days but that shouldn't be the case because Apple has all these servers and they need to ensure that it's working so that every user can use it accordingly but in a rare case that it doesn't work you'll have to wait it out to have Apple fix it finally the very last thing you can do if mail isn't working is updating your phone by going to your settings general software update and see if there's a software update available if there is an update available you click on update now make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and also has a strong cellular wi-fi data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes to install the update and hopefully after you do all that your mail is working for you again if so please make the like and subscribe button also if you have found a better way to fix the problem also leave it in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time